Is this your farm? <laughs> this is purely symptoms of water stretched on a plantain stroke banana multiplication field. You see that most of the leaves are turning yellow. It's as a result of water stress. If you look at the grounds, you can see that indeed the ground is very, very dry. Very, very dry. And that is how come the leaves have turned, have withered. And you can see that it's yellowing a whole lot, black stars, you know. This is not any disease. It's as a result of water stressed faced by the plant. So that is how it is. As you can see, these circuits are all, they first suffered about four days ago. There had not been any watering on the field. Meanwhile, the sun rays is also very high. So these are some things of water stress. This is not any disease. We will show you everything you need to know about plantain and bananas. These are not, because if you look at the whole stem, it is growing nicely. But some of the, the lower leaves have turned yellow. It's not any disease, but um, water stressed. We are going to prune the whole thing and do our watering. And that is all. That is the major solution to this particular um, problem on the field. You can see all this. This is not black cigatoka, no. But indeed, as a result of water stress, it's been so long, there had not been any watering in our post nursery. And that is how come the leaves are turning yellow. The leaves are turning yellow. This is not a disease. It is rather an anomaly um you can see all this so that is how it is the only solution to this problem is that we are going to um manage what is there almost every plant here is facing that problem you know this is a two acre nursery two acre plantain and banana nurseries this where I am is plantain. As you can see. When you do your nursery and see such kind of problems, it is not any disease, but this is a true picture of water stress. They are growing very nicely, but there is not enough water for them. Mm -hmm. So this is not a disease. All that we need to do is to ensure farm sanitation is to ensure farm sanitation we will just do our pruning and after pruning we do our watering persistently and that is it yeah so what i'm showing you we shall come back and show you the result again after pruning and watering you will see that indeed the plants are growing on well they are ready for transplanting as you can see in fact the diameter the size that you want um through a simple uh, method you can easily if you look at the field like this a very huge field all filled with uh, banana and plantain circus yes so these are handy works these are the works we've been doing behind the scenes Today, this is the result. I'm showing you from every, every angle that our method of plantain cycle multiplication is real. Yes, it is simple and fast, and we still give you a healthy um, seedlings. They are ready to be transplanted to the field. Yes, this is our plantain cycle multiplication unit. It's so simple, fast, and smart to go. So, you can see again, another water stressed. 
water stress we will do our pruning and manage it so we will no more see any old disease or um, the same things that you are seeing this is not a disease but water stress water stress that is how it is Now to solve this problem, it's just about pruning the old leaves as our dear manager is doing there. Yes, it's removing all the old leaves. We do our watering and that is all. And that is all. So this is also another strategy to ensure farm sanitation. After the whole thing, we shall remove all the old leaves from the whole field to prevent the harboring of diseases yes we want to prove to you that smart agro innovation we are really for plantains and bananas whichever information you need just rely on us so this is how the pruning is done we are removing all we had a problem with our irrigation system and that led to the yellowing of the leaves but we are trying to solve every situation that has occurred now the machine is in shape and we are going to do irrigation very soon you see that the pruned one looks now it looks a little bit healthy we shall do the watering after pruning or after removal of dead leaves we shall prune the whole field and do our what and that is all so this is how the pruning process is done this is about cutting the old leaves. Yeah. So the whole thing we shall remove all these old leaves from the row. Then you know, let it look healthy. The sun really is so high, the heat is also high. That is how come the leaves, the lower leaves, because as you can see, the upper leaves are not dying. Yes, though they face the atmosphere, but you can see that the upper leaves are okay and they are growing. But if you look at the lower leaves, which is a true representation that um, it is water stress. Yeah. So, if it's a disease, like at least you can see the leaves at the apex, they might have been affected or infected. But you can see that the leaves are, are nicely there, but the lower leaves are the ones browning. So, that is the difference. If you see a lower leaf like this, it is water stress, not a disease. Yeah. As you can see, all the ceiling here are portraying the same character. If the upper leaf is what is affected, then there you can see that it's a disease. But you can see that the lower leaves, where they don't get enough uh, air, that is how come we are experiencing all this. So after pruning, we shall um, do our watering and that is all. We've been able to solve that problem. Simply put, this is how to um, control water stress on the field. Yes. After pruning of the uh, yellow leaves, this is how they look. We are going to do watering, and trust me, you can see that they are really, really, really performing. Yeah, so we are going to remove all the, the the old leaves from the whole nursery. You 
see how they are doing.